Hey everybody, it's Stork from Stork Plays Games, and today I'm going to teach you how to play Sports Dice Baseball from FunWiz and Foxmine Game. It is predominantly a two-player, but it can also be a four-player, and I'll show you how that's done. So let's take a look at what's in the box. So hopefully you watched my unboxing video on this and saw all the contents already, but if not, let's take a quick look. So our insert is just a, a cardboard divider. You've got several baggies to put the contents in. We have a bunch of big chunky dice. We have six for the offense. We have six for the defense. There's a red team of three meeples, a blue team of three meeples. There is your baseball diamond. We have a double-sided cardboard chip here. And you have three baseballs. There's actually four um, in my copy. I believe there's just an extra one in there for everybody, just in case you mess one up but or lose one. But for the game, we actually only need three. So let's set this up and I'll show you how to play. And one quick correction, I almost forgot the score track. So in the rules, it does say that you go three innings, but that you are allowed to go up to nine and then the extra innings as the plus there. So you do have a score sheet with several sheets on there to keep score. So let's throw that up there. And now that we are set up and ready to go, you put your baseball diamond in the center, you take a one of these cardboard balls and normally you'd set it here on the ball so you could track it. I've got it off to the side so you can still read the word ball, hopefully. Um, same with strike outs right here. So you would flip this to see which team starts. Red and the red could choose if they want to bat first or if they would like to be in the outfield first. So let's say that red decides to be in the outfield first because that's where we have the dice already and blue wants to go. Both players would grab all six dice and simultaneously roll. So they would roll there. These guys would roll here. Then you would group together the majority of what you rolled. So the blue team rolled four ball, one double one single so that's a single that's a double these are balls so the majority let me show you the rest of the dice there's home run Thought there was a triple on some of these, but appears to not be. So, single, double, base hit, or not a base hit, I'm sorry, a ball, or a home run. No triples. So, because the blue team rolled, this was on a single, the blue team rolled four balls. That is their majority. So that's what the blue team would have. If they had tied, let's say they had had three that were singles and three that were balls, the blue team would then choose what they wanted to go with. The best one in their case would be the singles. So that's what they would go with. Over here on the red side, they rolled one out. One double play <clears throat> and four strikes. The options are triple play, out, double play, and several strikes. So for the red team, the majority would be strikes. In this instance, both teams tied with four. Four strikes versus four balls. So the team with the chip, which would be on the red side, gets to choose if they would like to win. So the red team could choose and take a strike, and this would move up here. If they don't want to waste their chip, because if they do that, they have to then flip the chip and give it to the blue team. So then the blue team would have control. 
If they do not want to do that, then they can opt to keep the chip on the red, and then they would just go and opt for the ball, which would be the which would go there. If for any reason one team, which hopefully will happen the majority of the time, would have rolled, let's say they would have rolled five balls, that's what would have just happened. So the blue team would have got um, the ball because they rolled five balls. And that beats the four strikes. And you follow normal baseball rules. You would use the meeples and move them around the bases to keep track. You would play just like a normal inning to three outs and then switch sides, swapping the dice at that point. And as I said at the beginning, there is a four-player variant that you can do. In that case, you would become teams, and one player would take three dice, and the other player would take three dice, and we would just roll together and then talk about what we wanted to do as a team. So you can do it that way, although I would say this is predominantly a two-player game. And that is Sports Dice Baseball. The game ends after the set amount of innings that you choose. The rule book suggests three. You can go as many as you want. The team with the most runs at the end of the at the end of the game wins. And that was how to play Sports Dice Baseball from FunWiz and Fox Mind Games. Please click like, leave me a comment. Follow me on Instagram at Stork Plays Games. Thanks so much for watching.